This process that I'm doing right here is called sticking. And this actually paralyzes the crab so they stop moving and pulling each other's clothes over in the pot. And that's the real way to do crabs in Maryland. Because they hang on each other coming out of the bag. But it actually just paralyzes them. And uh, normally we'd use an ice pick. However, I don't have an ice pick. Lucas is going to assistant handing them up to me. You always want to put Maryland crabs in with their shells up. Luke. You're not going to be happy to one of them off. They're actually a little calmer than I they thought. They are calm. Yeah. I haven't got Basically put one layer of crabs in your pot and then season them. And then do it. And then grab another layer. Today we're gonna to use JO number two. It's a Baltimore-based company that makes great crab seasoning. It's over here in a 25-pound box with our Cheers. branded Tito's <laughs> cup for even seasoning distribution. Put a lot on it. Oh, yeah, we're gonna load them up. Really Don't worry. Get them we'll get them. These are nice crabs. When they start to get rusty like that on the bottom, that means they're good and hard and they're full of meat. Generally it means they'll have good mustard in them. When a crab's real white on the bottom, Generally means it schlepped its shell, and uh, you want that nice rust right there. Really get the work out of here. <laughs> Sooner and later, we'll have. The real fishing brothers are going to have a vessel to go out and catch their own crabs. Yeah, we might, we might be getting a boat, so. Yeah. Then we'll we really have some good. good, good We're going to have some good some videos, good videos coming up. Mommy we'll will be in on the action. dog who just decides to come in our yard all the time. A stupid dog. Okay. It's not a stupid dog. Well, she's angry. She sometimes just it. comes in our yard. Yeah, they're, they're awful pretty. They are pretty. They are pretty. They got a lot of muscle in them. Shouldn't they like seasoning? I'm coming, bud. Yeah, the, it's yeah, you good. Guys are, you guys how are many did you get? Parking orders. How many, how how many five, dozen? Five dozen today. Five dozen. Oh my god. They, they are do. really pretty raw. Oh, they yeah. really don't like getting seasoned. Just big belly fruit crabs. Mm -hmm. They don't it's like nice. being getting seasoning. Okay. Next round number two. Oh. You got a whole number one? Yeah. yeah right. We're gonna do it. Let's do it, right? Now 
nowadays in the crowd houses they have what's called a shocker. And it's a big trash can full of water with electric, an electrode in it. And they dump the whole bushel basket in there and they send an electric current to the crowds and it stuns them. So sticking is a thing of the past in the crowd houses. But when I was younger, I used to work in a crowd house and I used to spend literally sometimes 10 hours a day doing exactly what you're seeing here, right here. Hundreds of bushels of crabs. These are nice crabs. Yeah, these are nice ones, everybody. August is the time when crabs really start getting good in Maryland. In August, September, and October is the best time of the year. That's when the crabs are their biggest and the hardest and the most nice yellow mustard. Younger, we would get anywhere from 700 to 1,000 bushel crabs in a weekend, and they would come from North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, anywhere you could get them from. do it this way, but I prefer steam my own. Yeah. You put water. There's a lot of crabs in there, guys. There's a lot of crabs. Lots of crabs. Water and beer in the bottom of the pot. This pot was empty and now it's like very much full. And we yeah. season them up as we go, as I said earlier. Okay. If anybody ever tells you you can boil crabs, tell them they're wrong. Yeah, tell them they're wrong. You can only steam them. That makes me good. I'm sweating like I used to sweat when I was in a crab house right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. A little humor. Pour out. And got to season them up. Season them up. Season them up. Yeah, give to someone that guy over there. And How's that? Are you not doing it all right? Yeah, you're doing it good. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. Lucas is going to be a really good foreman one day. <laughs> He's really got all that part down. Next to the okay. So. About all of them. Now, how long do they cook? Um, anywhere from, depending on how hot that gets, how fast, anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. But I'm going to show you another little trick we do here in Maryland. Guys, we grab that corn. 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 down in the pot. We're going to use this for our corn. Take a burlap sack, like so. We're going to drape that over the first layer of crabs. Sometime today, boys, would be great. We got some corn. Okay. We're going to take the corn, like so. We're going to layer it right on top here. Just take them off my hand. Hold on, hold on. Anthony, take some off. Also, like do this. Oh, yeah, gotta get some old bay on there. Whatever that seasoning is. Real good seasoning. Go ahead. Tasted some earlier. Pack it down, Luke, right over to the side here. Go ahead, put it in. Some wet burlap. Gonna put that on there. And that'll get hot with the cord. Take this lid. And that's it. And that's how you steam crabs. That's Maryland crab for you. We'll show you guys when. I know I'm not as exciting as the real fishing brothers, but stay tuned, folks, because they're gonna start bringing me on for an extra. Yep. All right. We'll see you guys when the crabs are done. Everybody, we're back. Okay, that's good. 
that's how you can mess the swivel traps. Is that our cord? Very hot. Very hot. Why wear gloves? So how long did they cook, you think? Uh, about 35 minutes. Okay. And then we'll just keep this baby covered. Nice and fresh. We're good to go. Crustacean time, babe. Mountain right. style. The only way to do it. That's how you do it. Here we go. Here we are.